Like Chiwo is located in the northeast of the New Territories, near Plover Cove Country Park. The changing landscape of Lai Chi Wo is the result of the long-term interaction between humans and the natural environment. It is one of the best cultural landscape showcases in Hong Kong, with considerable cultural and environmental significance. Back by mountains and facing the sea, Lai Chi Wo's environmental setting has housed diversified habitats including mature feng shui wood, secondary forests, shrubland, freshwater streams, agricultural wetland, mangrove, mudflat, rocky shore, and inner sea. These habitats nurture various living organisms and offer a wide range of rich ecological resources. The Hitin Temple and Hoshan Monastery are located on the square of Lai Chiwa village, built in the Qing Dynasty. They have a history of more than 200 years. The two structures are connected. They were jointly built by villagers from the seven villages in Sato Court and Hengchen Yurk for joint good fortune and expelling the evil. Hitin Temple is for Guangdi, in which there is a statue for Guangdi, while Hokshan Monastery is for Guanyin. Sitting along the Hitin Temple and Hokshan Monastery, Xiu Ying School was established in 1920s, being the main school memories for most of the villages. The village representative has given more details. Uh, is one of the Hakka villages of Hengchen Alliance in Shatokok, with a history of over 300 years dating back to the 17th century. The two Hakka clans, the Zhangs and the Wongs are the founding ancestors of the village. Were seen a similar period of time, pirates thrived in Hong Kong. Due to deficient naval force, the Qing government is extremely inadequate in fighting power and defense capacity while the hierarchy was also poorly prepared for ensuring and maintaining coastal water tranquility. With the fast population growth, food insufficient issues happened. Displaced people started to join outlaws at sea, and thus piracy was strengthened and spread to Pearl River Delta. Villages were regularly being invaded for plundering. This might therefore, two cannons were built to deter pirates. In the old days, most of the villagers were rice and fruit farmers. Others fished or made bamboo utensils for a living. Starting in the 1960s, the villagers begin migrating to Britain or move to cities for better jobs. But they always return to Lai Chi Wo for the decennial Taiping Ching Chiu ceremony of Heng Ching Yue. It's a bustling time for all. Apart from its traditional culture, Lai Chi Wo is also known for its unique and diversified environment about diversity. The coastal forest of eight true mangrove species is the breeding ground for abundant marine life. 
including common species like filter crabs, mud skippers, pufferfish, and more. Light Chi Wall has the largest area of coastal heritage Sierra forest in Hong Kong, more than 100 trees. It has a large, flat buttress root system which helps to anchor the plants on soft substratum. Silvery white scales on the underside of the leaves reflect white lights, which will help in lowering the temperature of leaves, and as a result, the water loss could be reduced. Its fruit can be flowed to water, and seeds could be dispersed by water currents. There is Travoliata, it's a giant vine that can grow to a great size. Largest, a grown man's waist in diameter. Like a giant python or dragon, it meanders across the forest. Sorcera japonica is one of the most important plants to maintain the mangrove ecosystem. It provides habitat, shelter, and breeding grounds for other species, while helping stabilize the seafloor, filter pollutants, and provide nutrients. In view of the ecological importance of seagrass communities in Lai Chi War, it was designated as a site of special scientific interest in 1979. It also had been included in the designation of Yan Chao Tong Marine Park in 1996. Having this precious and diversified environment, actions and policies have been implied by the government. Yet, there are some challenges for the marine environment near Lai Chi Wall. As Mr. Chang A Chet explained more. In fact, the negative impacts can be observed so easily. Yan Tian District, a recent reclamation construction, is one of the nine districts of the city of Shenzhen, Guangdong, China. It's adjacent to Shenzhen River and Hong Kong to the south. The impact of this construction is affecting the marina environment of Lai Chi Wall to a certain extent, which is closely related to Hong Kong, as it's just near the Lai Chi Wall. And what's worse is that the extension of this district is still ongoing. Illegal fishing in the marine park was also spotted during our way to Lai Chi Wall. Although it may only be for entertainment purposes, this action could have broken the CPA 171 legislation, Fisheries Protection Ordinance. And what's more important is that it caused destruction to Hong Kong's fishery resources and marine ecosystem. Pollution by ferries is also one of the problems. Following the development of tourism in Lai Chi Wall, ferry frequencies have become more often. When they anchor to the pier, the shallow seabed sediments will roll up and all light liquids will leak to the water surface, disturbing the habitats of coastal creatures. Fortunately, the government and some organizations have been dedicated to conserve Lai Chi Wall, and Xiu Ying Story Room is one of the projects. Xiu Ying Story Room is the fruition of joint efforts made by seven Hengchen Alliance village of Sha Tao Kao and the Hong Kong Geo Park. The story room occupies the space used by the expansion building of the former Shuing School. The concept of the exhibition mainly comes from oral history interviews with the villagers and the historical materials they generously donated. Arranged in four films, including History of Heng Chen Yue and the Seven Villagers, Shuing School, Taiping Cheng Chu, Farming in the Trade, the exhibition presents the heritage and different lifestyles of the region. It is a wonderful reproduction of rural communities in bygone days. Sustainable Lai Chi Wall, Living Water and Community Revitalization, an Agricultural Lead Action 
engagement and incubation program at Lai Chi Wall, which was established by Policy for Sustainability Lab at the University of Hong Kong since 2013, with full support from the Lai Chi Wall Village and the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Limit. It is a multi-year cross-sectoral collaborative project. This project has successfully promoted sustainability by facilitating beneficial socio-ecological interactions in Lai Chi Wall and keeping its heritage. For example, refractorization of Siouyang School to Siouyang Story Room, inviting villagers as helper to guide the tourists and introduce Lai Chi Wall to them. Besides, Acro production is established to achieve an agricultural productivity levels that sustain a viable local economy for the community while adopting natural, friendly, and regenerative agricultural methods. These are some examples of products that all produce from lychee wool, including ginger, turmeric, coffee, longji and papaya, white radish, patty rice, and winter melon. Some research about Lai Chi wall were also done in several aspects, including hydrology, biodiversity, local culture, governance and institutions. And with this wide range of conservations, the villagers seem to be happy to have their culture being promoted. Mm-hmm. Like 對於政府做這些事情的時候 before we leave, we found a woman who came back to Lai Chi Wall to sell Hakka tea cakes for tourists. Best told about mountains and the sea, Lai Chi Wall as a coastal village has nurtured diversified habitats, while the Hakka villagers have developed their farming and marine culture. And under the support of the government and organizations, the revitalization is going on a sustainable pathway, attracting villagers returning to their home place and willing to come back and promote their culture voluntarily. Well, in Hong Kong, there are more other small, traditional, but unique coastal villages that are waiting for the government to save and for the public to explore. We hope that the government and more CLS organizations can take Lai Chi Wall's successful story as a pioneer to take the lead to conserve and promote our marine heritage.